What is going on guys? It's Sean from Double Clutch HD and I'm coming at you with episode number 15 of the Baltimore Orioles After franchise. It's playoff time. This is game What's number two. Sorry for the delay it's between the two videos. The um, I had some family matters to take care of the uh, over the weekend. Now I'm back here uh, just making some more videos for you guys. Um, so quick on the game, Baskers, game. I'll welcome probably to our special up Madden 15 baseball um, on the show. Exactly by one Eric week, Harrison, and I'll probably Lions be doing a series on that. So a series or two on that. Here in so game two. this series will be going yeah, strong, but uh, Madden will be playing another factor Back into that as well. We so hopefully uh, both Let's series will be both uh, games will do great. Uh, so let's take a look at the Indians lineup. Should be similar More to what we saw in Game One. Along, first, uh, Michael Brantley, David Murphy, Jason Kipnis, Carlos Santana, Jan Gomez, Drupal Cabrera, As Ryan Raber, Michael Velas, like and Jesus Aguilar up against our Game Two starter, Mr. Hyunjin Ryu, 11 and 13 with a 319 ERA. So let's get right into it here. Uh, the big lefty takes his signs. Uh, the first batter of the game, Michael Brantley, is going to take the fastball, check swing, oh, check swing and Chris Davis is just going to tag up. him out right there. Yeah, so, good start for the you here, uh, here in the comes. top of the first. 2 2 count to David Murphy here. Slider uh, got him swinging on the 79 mile an hour, and that's going to be out number two. So, two outs in the inning, 2 2 count. Two's running wild, and Kitness is going to strike out on the 71 mile an hour curve. So Ryu has a 1-2-3 inning. Let's see what the Orioles can do. Uh, Buck Showalter Starting is going to put out this Orioles lineup today. Like this. D. Gordon, Nick Marquez, Chris Davis, Nelson Cruz, Adam Jones, Manny Machado, Steve Lombard, Dozy, A.J. Ellis, and J.B. Shuck to round out that order. Up against Mr. Danny and Salazar, 13-10 with a 4-7-3 ERA in the regular season. But he is a fireballer right for sure. Screen. He throws at least 96 on his fastball, so... Uh, we get carried away with velocity sometimes, but he is a fireballer. So Marquez is going to get it started right here. Almost it's a home run, but Brantley's going to actually bring it back. So Marquez is going to end up with a triple here, and we're going to take a closer look at that play. And you're going to you're going to be pretty amazed by this one because if Brantley wasn't there, that probably would have been a home run. Watch this right here. Brantley gets to the wall, jumps up, and actually brings it back. Almost makes the catch, hits off his arm. And and that's going to prevent a home run. But Chris Davis goes down uh, with a strikeout here. And Nelson Cruz strikes out on the 88 mile an hour slider. And the Orioles can't strike for any run despite the one out triple. So here's Manny Machado, one out and inning, no count to him. Lined up the middle for a base hit. And in the center fielder is not going to make that play. So Machado rounds second, heads on to third. And for the second straight inning, the Orioles will have a triple. So let's see if we can capitalize on this one here. Steve Lombard goes the up. And we get the pitch here from Salazar. Righty lefty matchup here. That's going to be a deep drive to left field. Brantley's going to make the play. And uh, Machado's going to try to tag up. But for the second inning in a row, we can't score. As Jan Gomes, that's a pretty good tag. That probably would have been blocking the play had it been MLB rules. But. And in the third inning now with two outs, we're going to get a man on with D. Gordon, and you know what he's going to do the next pitch. 0-2 oh, count here to Marquez, and D. Gordon is probably going to be stealing. There he goes, and Marquez is just going to foul this one off, and Carlos Santana is going to make the play. So, three base runners for the Orioles so far, and none of them have come on to score, but Ryu is doing a great job locking down. The Indians offense, while Nelson Cruz gets a single right there with one out. So hopefully, fourth time's the charm and we can bring a guy in. So let's go to Adam Jones, the next batter, 1-0 count. And Salazar kicks and deals, that's going to be a deep drive. Who right field, right fielder looks up, that ball is gone, kiss it goodbye. Two run shot for Adam Jones, a huge home run right there as the Orioles got a couple triples going. And they couldn't bring anyone in. And now a big fly by Adam Jones is going to put the Orioles up 2-0, giving Ryu a bit of a cushion. So let's look at the replay right here. Pretty much a no-doubt home run. Just squares that ball up, takes it the other way, and 397 feet is going to clear that wall, that high wall in right, right field. And that is going to give the Orioles two runs on the board. So let's go on here. Uh, and look at Steve Lombardozzi's at bat. 
O2 counts. Salazar is going to bounce back ball. nicely with a nice three. fastball. Nice seven mile an hour right there. Here's Carlos point. Santana. First yeah, pitch in the so fifth inning. In the That's going to be a hit out to left field, and I don't know really what Nelson Cruz is doing. And a little dirt moment right there. And so Carlos Santana is going to be and heading he into in second, second with a double. With double. So Ryu has to work out of some trouble here with a two-run cushion. One-two count. Nasty backdoor slider on Jan Gomes right there. And now here is a Ruble Cabrera. Oh, oh, count as line uh, grounded back up the middle. Adam Jones makes a nice uh, play on it. Great throw. Uh, and Carlos Santana would have been toast if he had tried to make try to uh, score right there. Here's Ryan Rayburn here. That's a deep drive. Two left field. Could this get out? No, it can't. As Nelson Cruz makes a nice play on that ball. That's going to bring home a run, but saves at least two more probably. Here's Mike Aviles. That's going to be shot out to right field. And Nick Marquez is going to make the play. So no harm, no foul. Only giving up one run in that inning. Bottom of the sixth here. Here's Nelson Cruz. Salazar pitches. And that nasty changeup gets him there. As Nelson Cruz is uh, down swinging. So, let's look at the game summary here. Welcome two runs in the fourth for the Orioles, on one the for the, in the fifth for the it's Indians. The now Santana with a double and a run. Adam Jones with a two-run home run. And point. Ryu had only giving up two hits, but has one run one away, given up and six strikeouts. So, here's a 3-2 count here. And that's going to be grounded to the shortstop. Lombardozzi, easy play right there. And Ryu is through seven. So, let's head on over to the top of the eighth. Wow, Mike Avilas is up. Two outs to him. That's going to be lined to uh, right field for a base hit. And that is going to get the Indians uh, rally started, maybe. As Avilas gets a hit right there. And Carlos Moncrief is going to be the pinch runner for the Indians. Hopefully, they're trying to um, get, get a rally going right here. All one count. Moncrief staying tight at first. That's going to be grounded over to D. Gordon. Throws on the first in time, and Ryu is through eight innings, only giving up one run. And Nick Hagedone is going to come out from the bullpen, 6'5", 230 pounds, and Danny Salazar's day is over. So lefty-lefty matchup here right here, 1-1 one, one count to J.B. Shuck. He's going to shoot that one out to right field for a base hit. So maybe the Orioles can get some insurance for Ryu in his complete game bid. And with one out here is D. Gordon, 3-2 count here. Shuck is probably going to be going on the play. And there he goes. Gordon's going to shoot this one up the middle for a base hit. Shuck is going to round second head on the third. And the center fielder is going to throw it in. D. Gordon advances to second. As the throw went to the cutoff Nick man instead of second, which probably would have been smarter. As Nick Marquez is going to get intentionally walked here. And that's going to load up the bases for Mr. Crush Davis. Can he crush a grand slam? But first, the pitching change. Vinny Pestano comes out of the bullpen. <laughs> but let's see if Mr. Crush Davis can do anything right here. I don't know why they changed pitchers from Hagedo, which would have been a lefty-lefty matchup. That's a drive to left center field, and it's going to be caught. By the left fielder, but the runners from second and third are going to tag. D. Gordon is going to be safe. Actually, everybody tags on that play. They have men on second and third with uh, one or two outs. Nelson Cruz goes down swinging, so he got one insurance run for Ryu. And he's coming back out. No count to Michael Brantley here. He's going to ground this one to second base. D. Gordon throws it on the first, and Chris Davis squeezes it for the first out. One out in the inning now. One, two, count to David Murphy. Already a strikeout victim today. And D. Gordon's going to, ooh, nice range shown by the speedy second baseman. And that is going to be thrown to first for two outs. O2 count to Mr. Jason Kipnis. Strike three, swing on the 88 mile an hour fastball. And the Orioles are going to win behind the complete game. Sh uh, not a shot. Complete game. One run given up by Ryu today. Give him the game ball. He deserves it. And the Orioles are going to win to survive another day. Not really. <laughs> They're going to take a 2-0 series lead. Uh, that, this game was big because if the Indians escape with a win right here, they're heading home with a 1-1 series tie, looking to uh, close the series out. But now the Orioles have a 2-0 advantage. They just need to take one over at Cleveland, and they'll be fine. And they're in great shape right here. 
their ace and their second starter who has ace type material this one showed a great a uh, perseverance going deep in the game and uh, let's look at the the line here for Danny Salazar seven innings two earned runs but Ryu even better with nine innings pitched three hits and one earned run so who is your player of the game it is drum roll please it is Ryu the man of the hour complete game one earned run eight strikeouts uh, he was a contact uh, pitcher so surprising that he got eight strikeouts on the day but nevertheless a great outing by Hyunjin Ryu we will take that any day of the week and we're gonna walk out of here with a win so for the 2-0 series lead this series is gonna shift over to Cleveland and when that happens I'll be joining you guys again for another exciting episode of Orioles franchise Thank you for watching, guys. I hope you guys enjoyed this episode, and I will talk to you later. Hopefully, you guys are excited for the Madden series, and I'll have that for you. Have that out soon for you guys. All right, guys. Have a great day and be safe.